Widgets are interactive tiles that can be added to your iPhone's home screen. They come in various shapes and sizes and show information about the weather, battery status, and many other things. The trouble with widgets was that many weren't very useful. With iOS 17, that all changed and interactive widgets appeared. Now you can do things like check off your to-do list, pause and play music, turn on your smart light, and so much more. The game changer is that all of this can be done from your home screen without ever opening an app. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Let's start by adding an interactive widget to the home screen. Interactive widgets automatically replace the previous static widgets and are accessed, modified, and removed in the same manner. As long as your device is iOS 17 compatible, you should be able to access interactive widgets. So to add a widget, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna long press on a blank area of the home screen. So I'm gonna push and hold on the home screen. You'll see the apps begin to jiggle. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the plus sign in the upper left corner. And here you'll see uh, a list of apps that I have. And the app that I'm going to add, uh, which is really great, is the Calculator 17 app, which then will allow you to do calculations right on your home screen without ever opening the app. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the Calculator 17 app. We can decide which sized widget we want to use. I'm just going to use the bigger size and now I'm going to tap add widget. And you'll see that it automatically adds that widget to my home screen. And when I'm ready, I can go ahead and tap on done. Now you can see that there's, I had already started a calculation here. I'm going to go ahead and let's clear that. And now you can see that if I put in some multiplication, tap on equal, I'm able to do that directly within the widget. So that's how to add an interactive widget. Another great interactive widget is the Reminders app. So again, let's find an empty area of the home screen and push and hold on it. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the plus sign. I'm going to locate reminders. So I'll just scroll down and I can just locate it here in the list of apps. And once I locate reminders, I'll tap on that. I'll choose the size widget that I want. And this time I'll choose a smaller sized widget. Tap on add. When you're finished, tap on done. You'll notice that there are two reminders for me to do today. I can easily just check one off by tapping on it and you should see that it will get removed from the reminders app after a few seconds. So that's how interactive widgets work and how to add them to your home screen. Now let's add an interactive widget to the lock screen. So you can see that um, I'm on my lock screen and widgets are added a little bit differently in the lock screen. So what you do is I'm in the lock screen, I'm gonna long press on the lock screen and you'll see that I come into the edit area and I wanna use the customize feature. So I'm gonna tap on customize and I'm gonna tap on the lock screen you'll see that the interactive widget area is right below the clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap into there and just remove that widget for a second. So once I do that, the add widget option pops up. I can come down and scroll through until I find the interactive widget that I wanna use. So I'm gonna come down and I am gonna use 
sports alert because sports alerts gives you um, updated information on your sports teams as they are actually playing. So you'll get alerts on your lock screen in real time. So I'm going to tap on sports alerts and I can choose the size. I'm going to just go ahead and choose the bigger. I can drag it in if I want just by pushing and holding on it. I can drag it in or I can tap on it and that will add the interactive widget to the lock screen area. Now I'm going to tap on the X to get rid of it. Tap on the X again. And now tap done in the upper right corner and tap on your home screen. So now you'll see that the widget has been added. And it right now there's no games being played, but it tells me when the next home game is. And once that game begins, all of... Um, all of the interactions will be shown on the lock screen. So basically, you see the baseball game as it's happening. So that's how to add an interactive widget to your lock screen. To remove an interactive widget from the lock screen, it, it's the same way. You just reverse it. I'll push and hold on the screen. I'll tap on Customize at the bottom. I'll choose the lock screen. I'll tap into that widget area. You'll see the minus sign appear. If I tap on that, it'll remove the widget. And then you can add any of these widgets that you want to that widget section of your lock screen. The last place we can add an interactive widget is standby mode. And standby is the perfect bedside companion and can be used with widgets, including iOS 17's new interactive widgets. So to add a widget um, to standby, the first thing you'll need to do is make sure standby mode is turned on or switched on in your iPhone. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into the settings app. We're going to locate standby. We're going to toggle on the standby toggle switch. I have another video on standby. I'll put a link in the show notes. To activate standby, what you'll need to do is be sure that you're plugged into power, that your iPhone is in landscape mode. And now I'm just going to push the power button on the side one time to turn it to turn the screen off. When I do that in a couple of seconds, you'll see standby mode kick in. And now if we want to add an interactive widget, we're going to swipe to the right until we can't go any further. And here you're going to see uh, two different widgets on the page, the clock widget and then there is the calendar widget. And I believe this is Fantastical, which is one of my favorite calendar apps. Now, to edit this screen or to add another interactive widget, all you need to do is push and hold on the screen. It'll enter into the widget mode, and you'll see that I'm in the clock mode. So if I want to add an interactive widget, I can tap on the plus sign. I can locate reminders. I can tap on add widget. And now that widget has been added to the left side of the screen. If I wanted to, I could delete the clock widget by just tapping on the minus sign and remove. And now if I tap on done, you'll see that I have two widgets here. One, the reminders app, and then on the right, my calendar app. And again, because reminders is an interactive widget, I should be able to tap on the screen where it says pick up milk later today. It should highlight it, and then that reminder should disappear. So that's how to add an interactive widget to your iPhone in standby mode. If I push on the widget on the right, I can also change that widget. 
I can add a widget, so I can tap on the plus sign. I could add the calendar widget, add widget, and then I'd be able to remove the calendar widget if I wanted to. Sorry, I think I said calendar when I meant calculator. And if I tap on done, now you'll see that I have the reminders and the calculator widget up in standby mode. And then I should be able to clear uh, and add or subtract on the calculator while I'm in standby mode because it's an interactive widget. So you're able to change either of these widgets by pressing and holding on either one of them and then deleting or adding a new widget. Most of the widgets you'll encounter remain unchanged in iOS 17. The best interactive widgets are Reminders, the Home app, and Apple Music, which let you tap to mark off completed tasks, control your smart devices, and pause and play music. Let me know in the comments how you're using interactive widgets. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.